The paramedic rushed into the hospital holding a broken leg. This sudden scene really startled everyone on the scene. Before everyone could react, the man with the broken leg was also taken to the hospital. Fortunately, the wound was very clean, and the broken leg could be completely retached. It was originally thought that the surgery could proceed smoothly, but at this moment, the intern suddenly noticed something was wrong. Suddenly, he seemed like a child who had done something wrong, and he became evasive when questioned by the chief. But... But what? Under the continuous urging of the chief, he had no choice but to push the broken leg over. However, when the sheets were lifted, both legs turned out to be left legs. Clearly, he had mixed up the legs. The intern innocently looked at the chief, who became so angry that he was cursing. The patient was admitted under your care, and the broken leg was brought by you. Couldn't you have checked earlier? Find the man's leg, Yang. Find it now. Yes, sir. The intern hurried out to search for the broken leg, but despite searching through the entire ambulance, he couldn't find the missing right leg. The intern was frantic, like an ant on a hot pen, but the paramedic nearby started making sarcastic remarks. The intern didn't want to pay attention, especially since the patient was urgently waiting for surgery. However, the paramedics were suddenly chilled him to the bone. It turned out that a train had derailed and crashed into an overpass, slicing off the roof of the dining car and plunging directly into a passenger car. Some people were instantly maimed, with numerous limbs severed. There was no time to sort and categorize the severed limbs. They just found of them all and send them to the hospital. Upon hearing this, the intern didn't have time to dwell on it and quickly returned to the hospital to search for the broken leg. After a short while, he rushed into the operating room carrying a bag. He checked all the severed legs that were brought in and finally found one with a clean wound. But when the chief turned to look, he noticed that the toes of the broken leg were painted with red nail polish. The chief suppressed his anger, while the intern looked utterly bewildered. He noticed anything else about that leg, anything other than that very clean cut. Take a look at my patient, Dr. Yang. Does he look like a man who woke up and shaved one of his legs this morning? No. Right. The right right leg. The Thank right. you. Helpless, the intern had no choice but to call the fire department. After some inquiries, they didn't find any other severed legs at the scene. If the broken leg couldn't be found, the chief might devour him alive. However, when he timidly returned to the operating room, he found the chief performing limb reattachment surgery on the patient. Oh, you, you found the leg? I found the leg. It turns out that just a moment ago, the firefighters found the broken leg and hastily brought it to the hospital, coincidentally handing it over to the male intern. In order to secure the opportunity for surgery, he didn't inform the female intern and directly took the broken leg to the operating room. Now, after all the hustle and bustle, not only did he become a scapegoat, but the hard-earned opportunity for surgery was also taken away. This is truly like fetching water in a bamboo basket. All efforts in vain.